Most of us log on to a social networking site at least once a day. But are you making sure you're keeping your information safe while you're checking your Facebook? Well, last night, our Target 8 investigators looked into how you can protect yourself online. And this morning, for more on how you can protect yourself from scammers and hackers, I'm joined by Pete Brand. He's the co-founder of Mindscape. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. No problem. What do people just not know when they're logging onto Facebook? What's the basic number one thing? Well, the number one thing is what they don't know or what they should know is that whatever it is they're posting, everybody else can see. And that is everybody. Beyond well, friends, is that what you're saying? Or? Yeah, well, a lot of people don't pay attention to their security settings, mm -hmm. and so they put something out there and they, without even realizing that it's being seen by other people. So I think it's really important to know what it is that you're able to view. If you want to limit it to just your friends being able to see it, then you need to make sure that your settings are that way and not just assume they're set that way. So take a look at your settings. Mm -hmm. Who's especially at risk or who do you see? Do you see um, certain groups of people or age groups that are more apt to make these mistakes? Uh, you know, I used to think it was just kids because uh, mm -hmm. we talk to our kids all the time and tell them to make sure that they're, they're careful about what they put out there because it's going to live forever. But the more I see adults act kind of worse than kids sometimes because they don't take that time to, to kind of think it through before they post it out there. They think it's all fun and games. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's not. It can be a, a door to identity theft. Yeah, and I, I mean, I don't think, you know, I don't want to be an alarmist. I sure. don't think it's anything you have to be scared about. I just think you have to be smart and use common sense. So, ex so you need to go into those security settings and really take a look at what you're putting out there and to who. Absolutely, yes. How about Twitter? Are you seeing the same thing with Twitter? Uh, Twitter, you know, there's some challenges with Twitter if you take the the twit pics mm -hmm. and you have the geolocation. Uh, I've seen stories and heard about people that have been stalked because they're taking pictures through the normal course of the day and people can start to identify the patterns and where they go as far as location based areas. What? And so, oh, go ahead. Sorry, no, I oh, didn't no, mean to cut fine. you off. One of our viewers showed some frustration with the changing of Facebook. It changes frequently, the format. Mm -hmm. How are you supposed to? I Take, separate that from uh, different security and different scams that are online. How are you supposed to keep track of that? Uh, I, again, I just think it's common sense. Okay. Uh, what, what they typically do is they'll put a picture or some type of thing, whether it's how many people have viewed your profile, and they'll put some outrageous number on there so that you think, wow, I'm important. I have to see who saw my profile. Or they have pictures like Bin Laden, or they have pictures of some scantily clad you know, teenage sure. girl or something like that. And then they get people to click on that, and that's when the viruses come, or that's when the, it it ends up leading to some phishing scam. So it boils down to common sense, doesn't Correct. it? Correct. Yeah, and, and you know, not falling for something. They always say if it's too good to be true, it probably is. Well, if it seems like it's something that's really grabbing at your attention and something they want you to click on, then maybe you should think about that. All right, Pete Brand joining us live this morning. Thank you so much for that. Thank you.